Welcome to Convos and Cocktails. I'm your host, Lisa Khatabi. This is the show where we drink, we laugh, we chat shit. My guest today is Lorato Lishas. Hello, Zadi. Lorato Singadi. Hey. Oh, look at my pronunciation. Singadi Zambo. Okay, okay. <laughs> say the Zambo. Yes, I was about to say that wrong <laughs> for Okay, babes. Uh, please tell us first and foremost what your cocktail is and why. My cocktail is a classic margarita shaken. Mm-hmm. No salt. Uh, you were very specific on the no salt. Why no salt? I don't enjoy it with the salt. Oh, same. I just want to go straight to to the business. I don't like bells and whistles. <laughs> you know, so and also, yeah. Okay. So cheers. Thanks Welcome. for having me. Thank you for coming. Mm. Not really a tequila person, but a margarita is cool. No? Mm. Unang. Cocktail wise, if I had to order my favorite cocktail, it would be a Cosmo. Okay, I thought I you were like going to say things. strawberry daiquiri. No, that's not a cocktail. That's a milkshake. Or I just mean like, like... There's no alcohol. <laughs> I like alcohol. I just... Don't, I like it sweeter. This is just... So, now what demi sick? I don't drink wine. Okay, I drink Hunter's Dry, babes. You know. Can, me too. I just every day, that's it. Me too. And a Jager bomb. That's it. Mm. Champagne. Oh, and the champagne, obviously, when I'm trying to... When I'm this in is a, sweet. If I'm in a wine for me or like if I'm, you know, dressed up and... Women are about to rest up on our champagne. You must wake up. Oh, no, you... champagne is actually not as chilled as you guys think it is. It, two glasses and you're already buzzing. I don't like that. Can't you, why am I drinking? I'd be drinking water if I didn't want a quick charge. I don't want a quick charge. I want, like to, a quick charge, I want somebody. a no, long... Like a somebody. Sometimes. I'm thinking about somebody. Ask me. Whoa. Ask me. Speaking ask of somebody, that's why we're here. Okay, look at this segue. Look at God. Um, Babes. Stress. Are you, first of all, are you single or are you dating? I'm single you... as a dollar bill. One, one of one, mm-hmm. no attachments. It's an email without attachments. Sometimes you post these things on Instagram where um, there's like a wrist or there's like a... There's that sometime... doesn't mean I'm dating. Okay, so you're... The meet and greet, you know. Does that mean fucking? No. Okay. It means whatever it's, whatever it is. It's just okay. a meet and greet. Like, okay. There's no commitment. Drive there's by. no stress. There's no... Some may return. Some move down the leaderboard. <laughs> You know. Okay, but are you not? Okay, I, well, I'm very, I can't, that lifestyle. <laughs> I can't. I'm like too Why attached. Why was I got to give, 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 give buffet? Maybe. No, it's like, not, I love buffet. I wish, I wish, please. Mm-hmm. Um, I just can't without getting attached to people. That's the only thing. When people, the, the drive-by or the like, see you and I see you lifestyle is just, fuck, I can't prescribe to it. I wish so hard that yeah, I was a better look, bitch than I am. Not but getting, I'm just not. I, like, life experience has taught me that don't get attached until... You know, it's like Velcro. <laughs> yeah. Now to rip it apart is hard. No, I just go on dates. I genuinely don't sleep around. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, I just don't have that in me. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. And it, if okay. the first two seconds sucks, then yeah. there's no second date. You're going home. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to respond to all your messages with a double tap of heart or praying hands. Like, <laughs> oh, not you're really gated. You're so beautiful. You're <laughs> really gated. Thank you. Good morning. Oh, have a blessed and fruitful day. And keep it cordial. <laughs> then you're already gone into the bottomless pit of friend zone. Friend, what is happening in SA? Like, let's talk on a broader basis. Because I ask people, like, send in some questions. Let's talk about the dating scene in South Africa. And everybody's first question was just, where are the men? Where are they? Why are the men? The, the, How? They married. <laughs> the best ones are gay. True. Babang ba weird. They like the so other have like weird. small so feet, weird. small hands. They're short, <laughs> like uncreamed. Remember I was telling you that they're holding on to, <laughs> if you're balding, let it go. Let it go. Let, don't let it be yeah, fast. Yeah, like, common. Feet, like, whatever it takes. So those things like... <laughs> Kids are interesting, annoying, that make me feel some type of way about dating, yeah. especially here. But there are gems, you know? Oh. But also, I don't have time to be kissing frogs and Dickie Polisha or building it. I'm not a no, Lego company. I'm not please. building a damn thing. I am not a snowman. No. Um, also, we were speaking about X the other day. And so, like, yeah, you mentioned some, like, the small hands, the small feet. Oh. But also personality X, because I feel like South African men don't have, like, the dating... I don't know what to say. Etiquette. Yeah, like, they etiquette. don't know how to court. Uh-uh. Let me say it like that. They just, it's either like, when am I coming to see you? Or when, am, when are you cooking for me? Like, just, I'm not cooking for you. Plan something and say, this is where we're going. Like, I just, you know, this, the thing I'd is, the men don't out. know how to mend. 
That's the thing. That's what it is. I think it's also like we have now taught ourselves how to mend. Like, do you know how many times I would make plans? Oh, very old Lissoha because Shem, mm. today's Lissoha will never. But I would be the one making plans. I'd be the one who's just taking charge in terms of like yeah. making shit happen for us. Because I'm like, what? I don't do you? that. I used to, but now it's like, bro, I'm hyper independent. There's every, I can do everything for myself, right? So if you're going to be a part of my life, what's up? It has to be better. What are you bringing? It has to be better. Because if it's on par or under, bro, I am fine. It cannot be the same. It Let's has to be Let's just, you know, a guy, even things like, I don't open my own doors anymore. I can, <laughs> but have. again, he goes to praying hands category. <laughs> We are straight with praying hands. Like those small things, they're not a real thing here. Mm-hmm. And I think it's because also women here said crazy. Like it's never, it's not like we grew up somewhere where chivalry was a thing. Yeah. And then we're here and now we're shocked. And for me, I don't want that because I know what chivalry is like. So yeah. I'm like, Ugh. I feel like it's also because like we live in a country where women are so beautiful and so abundant that the guys have kind of started sleeping on that. They they take us for granted. So they don't try. There's no effort. There's no there's no even fidelity because they have bountiful options. And mm. then we accept the bare minimum, hold on to the bare minimum because that's all we have. No, I can't write the bare minimum. Or you know what? I can't write my passport. Plus what's on my way? Nice to like it. You see what I'm saying? There's exactly no that. point in just wasting our time, guys. Yeah. If a man doesn't level up, like for me, it's even just standard manners mm-hmm. on a date. The way you talk to a waiter. Exactly. Number one, the way you eat. Just like. The 50-50. Like 50-50, yeah. Sprinkle, sprinkle. There's no 50-50. <laughs> yeah. There is no 50-50. <laughs> I also Bro, would, you like me to pay, would you like me to pay for the full date? I can do that. Yeah. Let me do that then. Yeah. Y'all re- Let's split and oh, but also you you'll never this. see me again. Huh? You'll never see me again. If I'm praying for a date, you'll no, never. Like, it's not even prayer hands at that point. It's just no, no, block no, that's Facebook, it. Facebook block Instagram. Because, like, if we're in daughter, we're inside. <laughs> we're in daughter, mass. What is the <laughs> what is the point? What is the point? Oh my gosh. Okay, so have you ever joined, been part of? It's also harder because you're mm. kind of in the spotlight and all these things. But dating apps. Yes, mm-hmm. I have. Okay. Have yeah. You, have the experiences been good or bad? Because Oh, mine have. Mine I've have tried. Actually both. I've actually tried it twice. Mm-hmm. Um, Which one, ones did you use? I tried um, Tinder when mm-hmm. we were in Cannes with my friend Rory. Oh, when we were in Cannes, okay. Ulo Wamanko, don't you even? You of all people, do not even. You should have just let that slide, okay, Miss we Ma'am. What happened in Cannes, Miss Ma'am? Who oh, was talking? <laughs> Aperol spritz, Ma'am. Please don't make me call you oh, out. Okay, okay, okay. And I tried. I tried. That was the first dating app I've ever downloaded i don't know anything about dating apps and she's like no when you're in a different country you know that's the vibes that's how you meet people you know and i'm like oh the serial killer women who kill right share these things <laughs> so you know i was very Tindous apprehensive so then the first like as soon as i got it and we loaded pictures or whatever it started going nuts 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 so i was very overwhelmed yeah so rory's like okay no just chat to this guy seems really nice so we're like chatting 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 whatever now it's the next day, mm-hmm. walking out of our hotel. Because also it's not like there's an abundance of black women there. Yeah. You can exactly. literally yeah. point them out like review. <laughs> yeah. When I look to the left, the guy that I was talking to mm-hmm. on the app was actually a chauffeur for, <laughs> for CNN, for the CNN guys. Okay. And then I was like, maybe this app is not for me. <laughs> and it, not to be materialist, I was just no, like... No, but also to be materialistic, because why? You were in Cannes. You took yourself to Cannes. Yes. So why, if you wouldn't date like a chauffeur here, why must I date a chauffeur in, in Cannes? Because bye bye, let's go. But That's also, thing. we got ourselves to Cannes. I want to date someone who also can take me to Cannes. Because True. I can't. Ta- I can mm. can. Okay? Mm. That's the fucking point. I can can. People are like, oh, you have these unexpe- like no, un- no, no. unrealistic expectations, no, no, no. or you're a gold digger, or you're this. I'm like, no. But I was shocked. No. But like, if I can... Get myself to these places. You what are coming time when? above, yeah. above. That's it. Yeah. Hey, Batong. I also think the dating app foreign thing is good, though. It's so nice. There's so many options. We are. Yeah, you're the one today. that told me who like, girl, girl. The oyster is oystering there. You <laughs> are. Legs the world. Well, not legs. Oh, not legs. Shall <laughs> open. <laughs> I meant the oyster, but I mean <laughs> the legs too. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with an open legs overseas. You know. <laughs> I just think it's it sucks so much that men find it problematic to 
to accept what women want, mm-hmm. right? Black like, women, because they don't have that issue when it comes to white girls. They can say what there's a lot lies. of things yeah. that 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 we are exempt of mm-hmm. that the courtesies we are not that they give. To have standards. So you like, I'm very clear now what I want and what I don't. Yeah. Like very, very clear. I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to break your hearts. You know, I'm very clear about this. Is the kind of life that I live. Mm-hmm. If you're not within that realm or beyond, let's leave it. Because I don't want to be with someone where I must justify my financial spending. Yeah. You know, because I think finances are at the root of a lot of things. Because men's egos are attached Mm -hmm. to finances and being able to provide and all of that. And like I said, I I don't have the capacity uh, stroking an ego Mm -hmm. because... We earn different tax brackets exactly. and all those things. I and, can't. and it shows up, it plays up. Like guys can be really mean once they get to mm-hmm. the point where they are resentful of that. Do you know what I'll never do? Slide you the card. I will never. <laughs> oh, I've done that before. Let's oh no, pray. so you do Let know what pray. rock bottom I, is like. Listen, I do. That's yeah. why I'm here now. <laughs> yeah. I had to build myself yes, yes. from rock bottom. So you've done that? Oh, I've done that. How many times? I don't know how many times, but it was. Same in, guy. Yes, only one person, but um, more than once. <laughs> what oh, was his backstory? Was no, he unemployed? No, <laughs> I actually don't want to go into his backstory because I don't have an issue with any of the people I dated. And so, no, I'm just trying to find out why you did this. No, don't, you're, not, you're not calling him out. I just want to understand why you had to slide the card. I, I, you know, I don't even. I think it's because also for me, like you said before, I was used to going to certain places. I'm not going to not go to certain places because I'm like now dating. So Dating a specific person. Well, just in general. When I'm going out with people, I'm going to stay going where I go. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not all of a sudden just going to be like, I don't know, going to different places. If I'm going to Cape Town every second weekend, or I'm going to wine farms. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what I want to maintain. Mm-hmm. So if I'm dating someone, it's unfortunate that with this one, I was in my... Uh, earliest 20s and I didn't really realize that like I didn't have to date someone I could have just like continued like living mm-hmm. but I was so in love and so oh. and um I think the person just couldn't afford the like lifestyle that I was at yeah. I guess and so it was just more like well I want to still do these things and I want to do some of them with you so this is the only way how and why did you break up with that person? Oh, for a lot of reasons. Okay. But, but one of that was that, just realizing I like, thought so. I mean, okay, in my 30s, this is not going to be the thing. And the resentment. People mm. do, like men become quite, like I said, mean they or do. resentful they do. as hell when they that do. thing happens. It's not even like a gratitude thing at that no. point. It starts off being like, okay, cool, thanks, whatever. But at some point, it just turns on you and people are just mean. Plus, I didn't want to be that person. I think I turned a certain age and I was like, Mm, yeah, actually, like I deserve better. I love myself more. I hundred percent. I'm not gonna put up with nonsense because men will say like, I don't want to girl that drinks. I don't want to girl that's this. They are very clear. And we must just they're accept it, right? Mm. We must even like, body specifics. They're very clear. Everything. We must be like, Runa, the moment you say you're too short. Oh my god, <laughs> you must. Okay, fine. That means you must go date West Africans. Those are your. I'm like, bro, I'm tall, you're short. Exactly. And, and you're I don't, tall. And I, I don't, struggle and in South African, I'm short. Imagine be, and I don't even have a problem with short guys. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, Uri, for me, you're the one that's going to feel awkward. Not, not that, but you're short. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, so way, would you date a guy who's shorter than you? Depends how short. How much? Like my do. heights. <laughs> no, ma'am. Already <laughs> I don't wear heels. Baby. <laughs> no. Uh, that's like smurfy. I'm not. I mean, not you. I'm like, you know. Babe, are you wearing heels right now? I'm not. I'm not. I'm wearing, I don't know what If we had called. to, the Mahindra. Oh, wow. <laughs> it feels like an insult. This is <laughs> just so that people think, let no, let was a bitch. Um, I don't, I, I mean, it, it, it'll just get a little awkward, I think, mm-hmm. more than anything. Like Also, the same thing with, I think, the, like, broke brothers or whatever it is. It's like... Not broke brothers. <laughs> the broke, broke brothers. <laughs> it's short, guys. Like, I, listen, there is a lot of rage in those little bodies. They are just very... There is dynamite. <laughs> dynamite. They are very... There's a lot that they need to prove or feel like they need to yeah. prove. And it comes out in, like, very unhealthy, unexplained So, when ways. have you dated a short guy? Um, I, no, no. But everyone's taller than you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but I've dated like tall, like the guy I'm dating now is also tall, tall. Like so the tall. guys that are on the shorter side of the spectrum mm-hmm. of the guys you've dated. <laughs> yeah. I think the shorter side of the spectrum is even like your height, maybe a bit shorter. Where was the sex better? 
height. I get it's like that in terms of height. I'm having the best sex of my life now. Is it because he can like? I feel like toss you around like a rag. Exactly. Like, Do you know what? Eh, also, eh. when you're like a thicker girl mm. and you get like a guy who's like taller. Um, they can just do more with you. You don't feel Absolutely. like you have to. Now, if I want to wear your shirt and then it's like a crop top, what's the point? Like, yeah, that's another <laughs> thing for me. Point. I will not date a guy whose clothes are constant. <laughs> exactly. For me, honestly. And that's happened before. I'm like, oh, not a short guy, but a skinny guy. And I was like, oh. So it's like, I must be able to. I want to sit on your lap something. also without holding my breath. Where your heels, your to- your the, your toes are just like, oh, are you comfortable? Yeah, and he's like, like, yeah, and you're like, you oh haven't breathed in like four oh hours now, nah, bro. No it's way. your belly button is touching your spine because you're making your core work so Listen, hard. Listen, you are elevated. You are sitting, mm-hmm. but you like your bum is like you're floating. Mm. I don't want that shit. Mm-mm. I actually want to feel like a feather. I want to feel tiny. Like the other day, I even showed my friends a picture of me and this guy. And then Kupama like, one and so I can comment on something. Okay. You can turn this way. Definitely. But Guys, the, I'll tell you if it's a, <laughs> on a scale of one to five. The reaction was, you look so tiny. And I was like, I know, I feel I, tiny I in one. like a great way. I will show you, baby. Oh, my Pakis, God. Uh, he lives in Paris. But I the saw thing is, him it's the one, there's, on. there's one you favorited. I know there's a I picture of him that you favorite. Photos, but also it's coming. It's literally right here. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, my visa friend, my Schengen stays ready. Listen, my mom was even like, "Are you moving to Paris for him?" I was like, "That's nuts." Are you moving to Paris? No. Oh okay. yes, I'm gonna do my masters. I'm not moving, moving like that. But I'm guys, you guys masters. are really like. I'm okay, going we'll circle back to that exactly next week. Like, I'm literally leaving on, on Saturday. Oh yes, I saw. Hey, but when a proper one? No, I'm just showing you the height difference. No, height. I, I will show you the difference. photos. This I saw. Okay. Oh, yeah, you want close friends? Yes. <laughs> You've seen all the photos I have. I haven't seen him, him. Okay, let's show you some that he sent then. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm going to show you the sexual ones. Wait, are you moving to Paris next week? I am. Like yes. moving already? Like literally, uh, yeah, on the 19th of August. So, can we on like Skype? Whoa, not Skype. He lives, this one lives in Paris. Wait, who? Me and you? Me and you, not Skype, oh. but like Zoom. Basically. Just hold it nicely because you're... No, they can't see. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, Okay. He's got big feet. <laughs> like, oh, 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 oh. He cute. He's, He's very so cute. cute. So you guys moving in together? No, fuck no. My okay, God. no, I was just thinking for myself. I get the child. No, I'm going okay. to school. I'm gonna I'm not moving there for him. It is a great coincidence that when I applied for school, I met this person also on the apps. And now Which app? Bumble specifically. When I was actually there last year yeah. for Afro Nation, yes. I was like, guys, switch You did on say, your, exactly. you told me. Then there was a couple of guys I was talking to and then it fades away. You come back home, you think you're going to like make it last forever. It doesn't work. But with this person this year, he then contacted me again and was like, hey, I remember you said you were coming to Paris this year sometime. And then we started talking from then. And Babe, then we went to go visit and then we went on dates and then we were like, oh my God, this is it. Like, I, 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 well, the only app I have active now is like Raya. That is such a useless app. That is but such a I've n- app. Yeah, I get, uh, girl, I just, I just, uh, and my profile is so cute. I think it's for like so networking. Cute. I mean, I why are they showing so. you guys in like Abu Dhabi every day and LA? Like you can't even location specific it. It makes no sense. But you're, you're going to be there. You'll be my, my dating app. What I said to someone the other day, because he has recently become single and I was like, put mm. on your location. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he based? He's based here. And then Ujang. Why now some hooky up then? I don't think Not a either fit. of you will. Yeah, okay. I don't think either Let's, of you no, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's move on. So. See how hard I it is to date. <laughs> you can put on your location because on Bumble you pay premium. You can be in Paris, even if you're in South Africa. Meet someone, chat, 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 and then make the plans to make a trip. Now you get a holiday and an amazing sex fucking filled week of like whatever. And if it doesn't work, you're also still in Paris. Do you know what I mean? You know what it is for me? It's just Honestly like, speaking, like it and here everywhere. they can kill you. Can you even, too. even if you meet them in a bar, they can kill you. The thing you. is, I've also heard. Even if your friend hooks you up, they can fucking kill you, you know? Yeah, but I mean, there they like to dismember. <laughs> so, <laughs> you want to be membered. Preferably with my. There they dismember you, they put you in the attic. But you have to be discerning. Also, you're not flying to Paris, like, or let's say England, whatever your yeah. country of preference is, the week after you meet them. Of course. I mean, we were chatting for like three months before we met in person. Okay. So, 
you know, by that time, someone did you have like his them. ID? Like, did you have like his passport? Did you have like had, I had, no? Yeah, he sent. I was. I'm very, very thorough. By the way, I'm like, if you want me to loose. find someone's, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I no, don't I'm know what joking. that means, but in some ways, but with research, let me tell you that I can find your. New man's childhood girlfriend, his mother's Okay, can I, can I leave you in another? I'm so good. So I don't go on dates with someone unless they have that information. If I Google you and you're not available on Google, you don't have a LinkedIn, you don't have... Oh, you don't have traces. Mm. No, no fucking Definitely ways. attic so. material. You're going to find yourself <laughs> that, decomposing. That's material. Yeah. Well, if you can, can, I can, can. We will get right back to you after this break. So stay tuned as Converse and Cocktails continues. I have some these questions. Are not questions. These are like comments, I guess, okay. on the dating thing. So I'm going to read them and then we're going to like kind of discuss them. So this girl's like, I'm so envious of how probably fun it is navigating. Oh, shut. She's like, I've been in a relationship for the most part of my early 20s. Though it's been great, I'm sometimes envious of how probably fun navigating 20s as a single woman is. What you I was like it. half single, half not What's in my twenties. No, like half of my twenties, oh, I was like, I was like a wild, know? wild person. Mm-hmm. And then from sort of like twenty six, uh, twenty five until thirty five, I was with one person. Mm-hmm. So what is the, was it better? Was it not? Was it, what's the, and what advice would you give? I mean, I obviously don't want to tell you how to break up with her person, but. Break up with that nigga. Is it better Go to have be? fun. <laughs> in your twenties, the twenties are for fun. Yeah. And I feel like. People who marry their high school sweethearts or their varsity sweethearts, I don't think most of the time those relationships become tricky later. No, tricky. And, and as you get towards 40. Right? Oh, so, so. And I think it's because you grow as a person mm. in your on your own. In and what also what you, you want. Like even when we said what I accepted when I was in my 20s. Exactly. Slide and quarters. So you find that, not what I would accept today. You find that people are, let's say, especially married mm-hmm. because now community of property, it's the logistics of separating yeah. are too much. Mm-hmm. So they'd rather just have separate lives mm-hmm. outside and just live happily ever mm-hmm. after. Yeah. But the 20s are where you should rock out with your cock out. Yeah, fully. Oh my God, I actually I would have even time. said that same phrase. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. If you can, because obviously you mm. are now in a relationship, so I don't know what you're going to do with this advice. But if you can and you're in your 20s, he, listen to me, guys. I yeah. know it feels like the thing where you're supposed to be in a relationship. Maybe all your friends are doing it. People are getting engaged. No. People, it is not the time. It is Mm-mm. not the time. Do it in your 30s. Have You your, have to enjoy because it. Because also when you're trying to chase that single thing in your 40s, it's like... Babe, I'm struggling. I'm not even 40 yet. I'm late 30s and I'm struggling. Because there's no one left. There's no one left. There's no one left. But they're coming back. They are return soldiers. Let me tell Babe, you something. My return so- There's from a return divo- That's the only people soldier to- exodus thing did, happening did, right now. <laughs> divorces and widowers. I actually those are the ones that should be calling exactly. me exactly. And a great thing about a divorcee, I think, or some of them, because obviously people don't always do the work, is that they are better sometimes after for the second EQ. Marriage. You've learned some things. Yeah. Maybe your wife told you, and uh, you've learned. You've, yeah. you've sometimes again because I also know some people who are fully fucking the same in the worst way. Anyway, here's another one. I was in a situation ship with a guy, and the sex was incredible. I miss him, and good sex is hard to find. Mm. He is not. I don't know what the question is. Is that a question? He's not what? No, that was the end of the. Because you know, maybe the he's not small. available. I was. In, I was in a situation. I miss him. I mean, if you miss him, tell him. <laughs> yeah, phone him. <laughs> like, Sneaky link, whatever. <laughs> and I think people are unrealistic about what happens in relationships, honestly. Mm. But we'll circle back. Yeah, my advice is to call him. If he doesn't want, he doesn't want. I mean, obviously. But like, the thing with situationships that I find so tricky is that people don't often want situationships. They end up in situationships. The problem is, you act like you're cool, you're down, you're mm. whatever. And this is on both sides. And so you catch, a, catch a thing. You catch a thing. Someone catches a thing at some mm. point. I've been mm. in situationships where I've been on either end. Sometimes I'm literally just wanting that because I don't want relationship. And sometimes I'm like, maybe this will grow. It won't. It literally won't. Because on one side, someone doesn't want. They never end well. Anything that's under the, the umbrella of a situationship. Yeah. It'll never. There's someone unless who's gonna. Both, unless you both really don't want, which is very, very, very unlikely. rare. It's, it's very rare because it's a relationship without being a relationship. Exactly. Now that like it's the all the benefits perks. are benefiting, yes. but the the, the, the everything, yes, yes, the emotions. It's tricky. Uh, now you must go to therapy because now I can't <sighs> be mad at you when I see you walking past with somebody because what are the rules? What are the Skunk rules? Papier, like Why am I telling you you can't exactly. join anyone else if we're just in a situationship? And it's always the men that say that, hey? Yeah. 
it's oh, but they always also the say men. that in marriage. They also say monogamy, but it only works on the woman's side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are monogaming? If we're monogaming, <laughs> let's monogam. Yeah. <laughs> if we're not, then it should be fair. Like I always, that's why I get. I'm not delusional about how relationships really are mm-hmm. not the fairy tale version not the not the textbook case not that tv it does happen like i was especially the people that got married very early on in life that you know things change and you do feel like you're stuck it's not fun you know you, you may not even love this person mm-hmm. anymore right and you go off and maybe start a separate life mm-hmm. with lerato and you're happy Right, yeah. but you still have mewa kontlu. As if nanekili mewa kontlu. And obviously, you know when your person has, you know it. Mm-hmm. You, you, they may not even change what they do, but you will know. Yeah. Right. Don't bring me no fucking diseases. Don't bring me no <gasps> kids. Don't do it. Oh my god, I can't. No, even no, 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 no. That's saying you don't do it is being. I'd rather say don't bring me all those things, and then you don't do it, than to think, oh no, he's not doing anything. Bekitloba shocked. That's unrealistic. Guys. I'm literally going to be unrealistic for the rest of my life. I okay. do not. I ca- I would not ever have a situation where I'm like, these things are the no. Things. Wait, but that's what I'm saying. That's for people who they're done. It's just separating okay. Okay. the the. But now are you still admin. fucking if you're done. Huh? Are you still fucking if you're done? I don't know. I've never been done. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but <laughs> this is all hypothetical, <laughs> right? You no, know, I know. I'm just asking. Like in these situations, are people done? But they're still because you can you like. I feel like if you're that, let's get divorced, but get, we want to tell a townhouse. We want to do a conclusion. And, you know, and so you figure it out. <laughs> Fuck that. Get divorced, ma. It's like so young. Imagine if we're like 40. You have another 40 to 50 years based on your choices now. There is no way you should stay in something. No. On paper. It's like even 60. Oh. Babe, imagine now if you started a company with your man. At 18, you're now worth half a billion. And because Hanalinya at 18, you thought her this is a gift for Evayen, right? And now Not he is entitled. <laughs> he's entitled mm-hmm. to 250, let's say, million of your money. Well, why did you get married in community of You're young, I get no mm-hmm. one ever what I can tell you is no one ever gets married with the intention of I might get a divorce, sure, but I might, like, especially at a young age. No one age. drives a car with the intention of an accident, but you're not going to not have insurance. Boom. <laughs> you know you don't want to have an accident. You know you don't want to get divorced. I think it's insurance different when you're young. Also, that's like a, there's this fairy tale mm-hmm. concept of what a relationship is. That's why you still find people getting uh, married without prenups. Or wow. antinaptials, or you know, it happens. Mm. It it happens, and the moment that happens, get some two hundred fifty million yow, nice and clean. Tiddly, give me Bill Gates, <laughs> Bezos, Them. include me in there, please. Yeah. All right. This one says, "Great sex, straight great sex mm-hmm. is hard to find because men are delulu." <laughs> Mm-hmm. And believe that just putting it in your vag is sufficient. Do you think grade six is hard to find? Ditch that Straight guy. Grade six. Ditch that guy. I don't even think she's talking about someone specific. Like no, but I'm just saying, like in general, if that do guy, you think grade six is hard to find? Like, have you is is it is it wild out there? And it is it? wild out there, but I feel like if the person doesn't listen, mm-hmm. then rezang yeah. because it's not like just about your pleasure. Because yeah. it's easier for men to reach you know, the point of pleasure. Whereas with women, you really, as a man, you sort of have to navigate certain things. But yeah. as a woman, I can't expect you to know what you don't know, mm. right? Because I'm trying also yeah. as women. So I will tell you, and I'll tell you again. After more, I like, I'm not a fucking prison play doll that mm. just repeats shit all the time, yeah. you know? After more, I'm going to start dating your brother. Guys, also make it, what can I say, your job to tell people how to mm-hmm. fuck you. Because in general, yes, there is a, a manual that like, okay, this, this, this. But my nipples don't work like her nipples do. My clit However, don't do However, but did you hear what she said? What? She's She's saying straight sex, right? Yeah. Which makes me believe that they've had girl and girl action or, or... I think it's just because I also specify that I'm talking to like, it's like a gal guy conversation no but that's why i'm saying she obviously knows what it sounds like mm-hmm. she knows what pleasure from a woman mm-hmm. is like 
And she loved that. <laughs> but when she's not with a, a lady. Because niggas don't listen. I get But also, girls need to take They more. don't speak. They yeah. don't speak. There's something that's like, people feel like they're emasculating someone. If they're like, hey, loved this, didn't really like this. Can I fix this? Can I do this? It's just. Can I ask you a question? Honest. Sure. At what date number mang, mm. if hypothetical, mm-hmm. this is just, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'm a return soldier. <laughs> so I'm still navigating mm-hmm. these landmines. At what point would you try to put your finger up a guy's bum? Wow. <laughs> I'm just, I, 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 Sorry, I'm just asking. <laughs> I don't Jesus. know. I've never, I've never done it. I, well, I mean, I'm trying to get the play. I would Yana. never do anything with anyone that I haven't prior, priorly. Yes, yes. It's the margarita. Prior to. Ah, prior for. Yeah. Prior to. Uh, spoken about. I'm not going to surprise you. No, people. but when are you going to have that? Especially with something like that. When are you going to have, like, after how many dates or how many? Ma- no, like, it's I'm how not- many fucks, I guess, that I would say. That I'd be willing to bring things up, but I'm I, like I'm kind of a very sexual person. I mm. don't find talking about sex or like bringing things up awkward. Mm. So the minute we want to explore, start having sex, I would probably be like, "Hey, what before are you your have kinks? sex, why are you exploring?" Because you start speaking about yeah, it before you do it. Why? Okay. Do? So do you like being choked? Um, do you tell them that? Yeah, I want like, to be like actually, almost at pass out mode. I was asked, like, 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 yeah, yeah, what are the things you like? What mm. are the things that are no nos? Mm. What are the things that are haven't done but want to explore mm. and i said oh sorry um so I, I am that person i also want to know what are your no-nos what are your kinks what are things that you've wanted to try but you haven't tried um, i've never tried anal and i i don't know if i'm but that would be a, a conversation because now if mm. your man's is like i anal is my thing you also need to be like okay do i like him enough that it's something i'm willing to explore or is it just a, that's why these conversations have to happen early. I don't yeah. want to like find out you like weird shit that I don't like six months. Please in don't when I'm like on me. La- don't, don't shit on me. Don't, <laughs> don't, did it, don't, did it, don't pee on yeah, me. Yeah, like, don't, don't, don't. I don't want to find that out when ed- I'm in love. I want to find that out before we even get just there. Right. <laughs> keep your body just to fluid not on. <laughs> for the most part <laughs> inside. <laughs> okay, that just uh, that was just interesting. I was but yeah, I think bring it up as early as the time that you start being sexual with each other. Like, I don't think it's awkward. I think even feedback doesn't need to be, oh, this sucks, or you don't mm. do this right. It's like, yo, I love it when you do this. Or yeah. I actually sometimes send videos of like, oh my God, this is so sexy to me. Mm. Because then you can see what I like. You can gauge and also, yeah. If we're watching something like, oh, that's that's hectic. Mm. Then that's also feedback without maybe being direct if people are more shy. Anyway, mm-hmm. someone else says, uh, I always thought dating would be easier or fun as a bisexual woman. Boy, was I wrong. I can't comment. But I have heard that it's tough on both sides. I've heard that we all suck. Babe, <laughs> we all it's suck. It's a minefield. We all suck. But I think it's worse on people have for issues. our side. I I don't know. Hey, straight men, yes, but can you imagine? But they say know? but my friends say that lesbians are hectic. I also, but they fall in love. Like people, I've always been told, like it's like mm. one to three weeks you're moving in. <laughs> yes, that's why <what laughs> so they're very intense. And it's Everything's my intense. lesbian friends telling me this. So yeah. I don't, side, know, it's I, a war I don't know zone. if it would be easier or more fun as a bisexual woman, my babes, but we're all struggling. So it might be fun. Maybe that's where I need to. I mean, are you ask. attracted to women? Because it can only be fun if you're actually willing to. I'm sorry. There I'm are some. my phone because there's some questions here. Not there I'm are some fine, texting. fine women. Mm-hmm. I mean, I love fine women, but I'm not sexually attracted to I women. I don't know. So that's I, the difference. I, will, like, I can look I at know. you and be like, girl, fine as hell. But like, am I trying to? No, I'm not trying to hook up. Um, anyway, so there's a few on dating apps, but this girl left a video and I, okay. So first she said, dating app horror, Abuti lied about his name, what he does. He even blocked me on Instagram so I wouldn't find out. And he said he doesn't have Instagram. My cousin found him by chance. And when I confronted him, he said he'd been meaning to chat about it. What is your biggest? So you said like a chauffeur, sure. But like, do you have a dating app horror where like maybe someone's lied about their identity or like. I don't know. I think it's mainly the main mm-hmm. horror. Or been scammed or something I've like that. I've never, because I, I haven't been that active on mm-hmm. it. But in real life. Okay, what's your I've worst had, dating experience in real life? My, there's been a few. Especially <laughs> now as a return soldier. I'm always like, Kanti, this your, is it. The new brand. You must just put in your bio, return yeah, soldier. Yeah, return soldier. Return to return soldier. <laughs> That's who I am. Um, the one I was being hooked up, because especially my guy friends, and they always like, I would rather hook you up because I somehow have vetted this person. The first horror story was a friend of mine was hooking me up with a guy 
And he was okay. Second day of texting, he's like, yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I've been watching you on TV for like forever. And I was a big fan of your husband and I still am. And, you know, if, if, if it's so hard for me to accept, I can't imagine what you're going through, but just know we're in this together and I'll hold you. <laughs> Sir. What part of the game was that? And then, and then what? You're going to have a morning, like a morning I am, party? Like, I don't know. Okay. Sad, Collective sad. trauma, I don't know. Couples, I, I never saw that guy. Never, <laughs> nothing. Block, block, block. Another one, I went with, on a date with a guy that I've always known, but never mm-hmm. really looked at that way. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of mutual friends. Those are the worst ones. Can I just tell you something? Don't ever give a guy a chance that's been pining for years. It's yeah. the worst. Anyway. I get Robin. I get I'm learning as like, keep pay as you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to go is to see. And this guy, we went to an event on a date. Mm. He's a gentleman. I said, why are you working the room? <laughs> exactly. oh my why God. are you working the room? This is not that. your event. You're not working. <laughs> They're just chilling. And you know these guys. They're not foreign to you. You know these guys. Why are you working the room, sir? Why? Why are you a social butterfly? Oh my God. I forgot about social butterflies. I could vom. I hate that, babe. Don't be so familiar. What the fuck are you not mysterious for, my sir? What's on? What's on? What's like... I, I never saw him again. Can I tell you mine? I met this guy, dated for a couple of, I want to say weeks. We went on like one or two dates physically, but like talking for like, I think a, w- a week or two after. Anyway, eventually he connects with me on Instagram. He added me on Instagram. I'm chilling. I'm like, oh my God, you know, we're just chatting, whatever. And then he's like, oh, I have to go to this wedding today. I'm like, oh, have fun. <laughs> Don't tell me it was his mom fucking wedding. Do not. What the fuck do you think the story is about, Lerato? Of course it was his wedding. I didn't even know he was, like, I did not for the life of me even imagine he had somebody else. He had so much daughter. time. Like, we I'm we had so much time. I said, when? <laughs> when did you have, like... Anyway, he got married. And then I just saw because, like, people were reposting, like, oh, yesterday was so fun. Thank you to the amazing groom. And I was like... Because in the beginning, I was like, you look so nice. Like, mm. where are you going? Yeah, wedding. I was like, oh, your outfit is bagging. Like, shit, the couple better sit down. I'm glad he didn't <laughs> he tell said, you. That he, like, we're not married, married. We're like, no, he was just like, married to Jason. Literally, we didn't talk for like a week afterwards. I just was like, okay, I'm done there. Moved on. He was like, hey, how are you? Like, a week later, he's like, I miss you. I was like, he got married. He was like, why is this a huge deal? Yeah, like, what's your problem? Like, what do you mean? No. Like, of course I got married. It gets worse as you grow older. I can tell you that. Of course I got married. My God. He's like, you didn't ask. So I thought it wasn't like a real, I didn't think it was a big deal. So it's like, they don't declare. Yeah. Bueno. You can't also just say like, do you, are you married or are you in a relationship? You have to be like, does anyone think they're in a relationship so with, with you? <laughs> yeah. Is there anyone in the world who for some or other reason thinks they're your girlfriend or your wife? But you see, yeah, you see how it so is. so specific sometimes. So we <laughs> might as well make like a... <laughs> A, a form that is readily available <laughs> yeah. to all women that go on dates. So re- my brother, thank you so much. Please, can you fill this out for me? Um, <laughs> exactly. And I'll do the same. Just so we are, because like there's- No, but he was also like West African. And for them, he was like a small house and a big house is what they call like where the yes, wife is. And yes. like the it's like not a thing. Like yes. I just didn't think I needed, I thought you knew. No. I was like, but you're 29. Like, mm-hmm. even mm-hmm. No, I thought it could happen when- when they're 40, like you're 29, you just, you're engaged now. I, I saw your wedding. So you're not even at the like, finish the honeymoon phase. Why is this your life? Mm-hmm. How are you, you starting are the, your marriage? You are the honeymoon. <laughs> you are the honeymoon. Yeah. That was my worst dating experience. But my best at dating dating app experience is the current one. Um, Always the flower girl, never the, the flower. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come to the wedding in, in France next year. Oh, babe, not a problem. Anyway, I've got another... This girl left a video, which I love, but hers mm. is a positive dating app experience. Um, she's actually the same person who left the negative one. Mm. But she's like, here's a better story. Hi. Um, my dating app success story is after all of the rubbish men I'd went through, <laughs> um, I eventually found an amazing guy. We've been together for two months now. I know, it's still new. But he is, like, 
our souls have met in a past life and Mm -hmm. there was no way I was going to find him on the streets because we are such homebodies so there is you know good endings to date online dating I found him on Hinge which is the private school of the dating apps and I've been through Bumble and Tinder and that other one the duo or whatever Hinge I feel it has a proper group of gents but also by God's mm-hmm. grace um, that's where my man's was Hinge but you're not unhinged Thanks. not my husband no, she I, said my husband um, my yeah. okay I think I'm gonna okay we'll circle back to the dating app go Jason so I have to work through my so you don't have any what's your best dating experience because again you said your app experience is limited so just in general what has been your like best dating experience or best date that you've been on the best date I've been on like ever was when Mutu took me to Amsterdam for my birthday so we can smoke a lot of weed and then Dang. he popped the question and then we smoked a lot of weed and drank and it's great that's, that's the a, best date ever that's a great day I don't smoke personally but like if I did that would be oh and when he took me to Jamaica Okay, so you also just can't be talking about traveling. Yeah, no, nope, I could get on any best dates. Sure. But also, I'm a big road trip girl. Mm. Just like, say, two hours out, get into the car, get some snacks, playlist. I'm, I'm a great wingman. I'm a yeah. great passenger. I'll make sure everything that you it's need is, in the car. you know. You're handing drinks. I don't when, know how I hold it. But back. also, it's non-alcoholic drinks that I'm handing over yes, because, because we're not crazy. We understand. Um, yeah, that, I love that. Mm-hmm. I love that away from the noise because my life has got so much noise because yeah. of work and whatnot. It's so noisy that the best parts are when I unplug and go and make That's learn true. how to make like cheese or milk tarts or something. <laughs> That's very cute. I think, yeah, my <coughs> dating app experience the currently is the Ranyadi best one. Ranyadi Sarzamo, please. Like I said, next Show year. offs. Uh, France, <laughs> 2020, whatever. Mm. Um, okay, so, ah, okay, now this girl's telling me to send her a man, and I don't, sorry, have that. How much is it? Do you send a man, Mopi? Right in front of you. Oh, send a man. We're still, you know, in the, in the entertainment, in the industry, whatever. No. Okay, so this one is saying, um, uh, dating apps have not worked for me. Oh, sham. I've only used them in foreign countries where I live. They have been a nightmare, scary, dodgy people. You know what my friend says? I rather the dating app set on local because I was like an album find a foot. The strip mall in the neighborhood. Which is like, no. Exactly. No. Uh, oh, this person's like, great sex is very hard to find. Grown men in their 30s still treat the clit like a DJ and kit. Please help. YouTube. You know everything on YouTube. Just also, you. no, I'll communicate, bro. If he's just slow it down, tell him. Sometimes talking them through it, like there's this, oh, when someone talks you through it. <laughs> anyway, not me and the flashbacks. Um, you, no, talk tell, them her, through it. tell her. Talk them through it. Whilst, and her is us. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I just don't. You don't have to always wait for feedback sessions afterwards. It's not like a checklist I, of. I agree like, okay, with this that. This is what you did right. This is what you did wrong. People can also hear from if you don't fake. Mm. The minute you start, nah, nah, when things are not working, that's what, you, that's what you're going to be stuck with. That's why you're going to keep doing it because yeah. you, I could, you were loud and you were excited. So it, feedback doesn't also have to be a list of things or adjectives or whatever. It can also be how your body is. Yes, the move your hands. Exactly. You know, Put your I hand agree. on his hand and show him the rhythm. Mutual masturbation is also great. Not me being a sex expert, but mutual masturbation is also great so he can see the rhythm you like. Mm. Like watch me, do me, and then you do me like I do me. And if he's like any little bit like open or like, you know, can read and and just be um yeah just be in it, then he'll get it. If he doesn't, then no, then you can be I, more verbal. I love being married. Why? Yeah. I've never been married. I so was I'm always really curious. <laughs> happy from the beginning for ten years. Mm-hmm. Let's get married. Let's get you married. No, holy, like get you married. Everything was just I had a bomb sex life. That's. Well, that's what you have to do before because you also can't see it in That's marriage. like it's Aki Bob the Builder. Yes, we can. And then like, <laughs> no, I need to know early on what we are working with. Okay, this last one, last question. Not for last the, one. Uh, yeah, we are oh, for the dating the, app side. For the episode, Lerato, we've been speaking for like almost an hour. No, we don't. Okay, I've got questions for you. Okay. Okay. 
well, then last question for you, uh, or conversation thing is, why do single and married women seem to be on opposite ends when we should all be against men? (laughs) Because unfortunately, I sleep next to one every day. The married woman would say (laughs) that, and the other one wants someone to sleep with them every day. And we always put into competition. I shouldn't Mm -hmm. be competing in my marriage for my husband. If I'm made to compete, the enemy is the man. For sure. Yeah. But for some reason, but you guys always want the enemy to be the I can't really rata lignalo. Bege zela, mbogota, amandala. But don't guys. be fighting girls for your man's exactly. marriage. Exactly. Like, can't. What are your questions, Gek? Because uh, on my side, uh, all protocol observed. In course. <laughs> So, I've got 10 questions. Not 10 Quick fire. questions. I don't have them prepared, but they'll come as This is as like you... not your podcast. Okay. Okay. This is happening. Uh, well. Wow. Okay. First question. Where in Johannesburg... This is going to be answered by both of us then. No. I, I get it, I'm taking notes. Okay. I'm the okay, okay. return soldier. Okay. The student. I'm okay. asking. You've been working these streets, man. <laughs> not okay. like that. Not no, like Oxford. Like that. Like, like, that. like that. In Joburg, like that. Like where that. can you take... Or go with someone, let's say on a first day mm-hmm. for brunch, an ideal brunch spot. So I want to shout out the popular restaurants, but I don't think you should go to like my favorite restaurants just because I don't think you should go where you're gonna spend the whole day. Hey, hi, oh, oh, oh. which is this pantry? I, I okay, love pantry. I love me too. I love me too. The food is incredible, but like the I vibe, just, everything. But I we're all there. Like kind of really right yeah, okay. Where I'm trying to get to know somebody, and every two minutes I have to greet someone, or yeah. like you know. So I would go a little bit out of town. Like as an out of Joburg, my favorite dates are like a forty-five minute drive away. Yeah. I don't even know if there's a specific restaurant, but just get in your car and drive forty-five minutes mm-hmm. outside, an hour outside Joburg. Go to Hartis, go to like Mahalis. Mm. That would be a really cute spot because you're very, you're more limited um, chances of meeting people, you know. And those are the best dates. But I also like dates that are like active. I want to bowl and then go for brunch. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to mm. all like go quad biking and then go for brunch. So I think the spots that are like in the cradles areas, yeah. go there. Or well, go to Cape Town because they also, you know. Everywhere. I, sometimes getting to know someone on a trip would be cool. I know people who like went away before they started dating or like went away as the way to get to know each other. Yes. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Personally, I wouldn't. But I think that's really cool for people who like aren't socially anxious like I am. That's just too intense for me. <laughs> Maranak Boga the serial killer, it's problematic. Anyway, to, over to my next question. Your thoughts on circumcised versus uncircumcised? <laughs> uh, I think if, oh, Jesus Christ, let her go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not expecting it. If people are adults and they know how to like, I just don't think there's like much of, I don't have the stigma I think that people have. What stigma is that? That uncircumcised, that's the one that's not cut. Yeah, uncircumcised put, is like, terrible or like and unhygienic or blah 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 i don't have that have you encountered view. both yes and and w- please tell me like in terms of because if I anything there's a little bit of a grip of the turtleneck it is sometimes but i just feel like i don't necessarily have a preference that isn't steeped in a little bit of like uh bias mm. um so i do prefer circumcised because of the bias but i've also been with both and like when adults are adults and they know how to like just take care of them it's not really that take different. care of them king like hygiene yeah like hygiene and just like taking care of them like that vaslap meme that i posted the other day if you it see that it's gonna be bad no, no matter of what course, of course <laughs> so of course i don't think i have like, of course too much of like a preference that way i think there's sometimes a bias that comes into your mind when it's like when you see it for the first time but i've learned to like hey girl it's not mm. actually what you think it is. There shouldn't be a bias towards this. Um, yeah. What's your big no-no on male grooming? So for me, fa-fa. No. Where they, no they, 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 like. Not edges. No, where they put, like, airbrush to make your, to give you. <gasps> like, like the dye yes, thing. And then it's yes, like, yes, yes. geometric. And then, and then uba. Yeah. I so that's that. one of my, yeah. my, like, or guys that go and get groomed, but mm. they re- prefer to leave, like, a little. Bit of nail. Like just a little. Yes, they're groom, they're buff, they're. I've seen that. But Basile, like, <laughs> French. I've never seen that. French, I've seen it. Oh, what wow. are your grooming no nos? Um, I don't know. I don't like a lot of hair either. Like, I'm lasered to the guads. Do you know what I mean? Like, slick on, slick off. Yes, girl, look under the table. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Baldy um, locks. <laughs> okay. So, I also prefer if you're gonna like, Groom a bit. I don't need it to be like this, like mine, but I I don't need it to be like 
Mm. Weed uh, whacker. It, yeah, mm. I, I like grooming. Um, I love a, a man who smells good. So if you don't smell good, like as we hug, my sig. And then I do love a mm. guy who does his nails mm. and toes. Like mm. I, we don't be scratching me and like I'm bleeding mm. in the middle of the night because mm. you have your fucking toenails. Mm. Like, mm. <laughs> and I love good breath and teeth, like and, and yeah. mouth. Like don't have dry lips. Just have a relationship with like and it, lip eyes. Just have it. There's a plenty. Because otherwise when you're here, it's going to be... Anyway. Have you kissed a girl before? I have. And you liked it? No. Not really. Ugh, not really. You know, I'm just really into like the Strictly masculine... Strictly um, So yeah, I have for like experiment or for like the fact that like my friend wanted to or like whatever. But can I say I enjoyed it? Like not really. I really like... I don't want boobs and boobs. I don't want like... I love the hardness of a guy. I mm. want to feel what my work is doing rise in the pants. You know what I mean? Like, gang, gang, gang. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, I, I don't think I would again. It's like, okay, done that, whatever. But mm. what's your go-to? Have you though? What? Kiss girl? Yeah. That's definitely. Okay. And you liked it? I've kissed a lot of girls. Okay. I'll take you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. I'm just like, it's exactly. whatever. I still like guys. Sure. I still prefer guys, but I've kissed girls and enjoyed it. Sure. But I'm still like strictly. Strictly. Unfortunately. Well, this is where we do have to end. No, I just have two more questions. You have to make them quick. Oh, yeah. Why? No, you use okay. This episode can't be six hours long as okay. much as I want to. It's going to get chopped. <laughs> What's your go-to sexy song? Like to play for a guy or like just like this your go-to song like i actually don't have that you don't no. like a song that you'll send to a guy i'll not play send. Send. Hell fucking not send, like send send to a guy you don't have like our melody playlist Mm-mm. my playlists are like oh i like this because burner boy like whatever then send the whole like afrobeats it's not like can't i don't have i don't listen to like specifically sexy music and also when i'm like fucking um i want to like hear you mm. I, I don't really have like music needs to be on if it's on it's already on but i'm not gonna be like hold on Dude, janet lights that like i'm not you know what i mean like i'm not i don't pre- over prepare for sex i like it to be well, a bit you know more where organic. you know it first <laughs> it was just be a bit okay i want to hear i want to hear the moans that's why i also can't sleep with someone who's like am i up are you enjoying this mm, are you fucking mad like mm. say something tell me what's good Mute. also tell me what's going on tell me how i pussy like i, I want i beat the Anyway. That's my song. I beat the pussy. Uh, <laughs> You're such a uh, fucking thug. Uh, uh. You said sexy songs. And that I is about, sexy. It, well, it is, but it's it's thuggy as hell, too. Uh, uh, Thank you. Sure. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> oh, we are done. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Uh, it has been so wonderful. Thank you for making the time. Pleasure, my darling. This was very short. It was stingy. It, it was, honestly, it was over an hour, and you'll see. You will see when it drops. But anyway, it was a great episode. Guys, if you have any comments, questions. Uh, and to saying, if you have an uncle, a dad. Don't say uncle and dad because not all my followers are 10. Like, please. Are man. they? No, they're fucking our age. Why would you want to date someone's uncle who's like 24? Okay, if you are a returned soldier, <laughs> divorcee, <laughs> you. widower. Or your young, super, super young uncle then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The oh, yeah would you date older men? Is. is it like, would you date a 60 year old? Mm. <laughs> okay, 60s have been mad. Let's not say dad. What's the oldest you date? There's people who like. What's the oldest you date? 50. Okay, and the youngest? 16. 16? Get that. <laughs> like, oh my 30, God, I guess. I'm the same, but not 50. That's too much. I would say. It depends. But I'm also younger than you. Yeah. I would say like 30 to 42. 45 if you're like great but like mm. <laughs> anyway uh, so, so you yeah, heard please, her specifications guys. 30 to 50 young uh, preferably returned soldiers yeah um, for whatever reason uh-huh. um, but yeah and pr- professionals black captains white, of industry any. preferably chocolate but I mean Rainbow Nation has just cool you know um, height so she's they, tall so I don't yeah, know if you like want to look, look at like I don't tall. wear heels though um just be have like be well radio travel <laughs> and like, be a hip hop thug and play beat the pussy up in the bedroom. Lato, thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Your glass Ash. is empty, but I always do. Have... Bluetooth. Okay, pull me a little bit because you can't cheers with an empty glass. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. See you soon. And Next time we'll be we'll... discussing. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys on the next episode of Conversation. 
Season 3 Convos and Cocktails produced by the Sukho Tabi and WMG and recorded at Vodcast TV Studios. Remember, this podcast is streamable on Spotify and other major streaming platforms. <laughs>